So here's a quick video on chain length when you're using a short cage derailleur and an 11.32 cassette with a 50.34. Because not a lot of people are telling you that if you get the chain length wrong, you end up with this, right? It'll pedal forward, which is fine. And it's just hitting on the, the cogs are just hitting and the B screws all the way in. And I guess that some people might get like that and think, oh shit, it doesn't work. Because you need that to, when you're on a hill, if your pedal's like that, you want to get your pedal to the front, you're going to end up with the right noise and end up maybe falling off and confusing yourself, especially if you do it at traffic lights. So what needs to happen here is I need to just take a, another link out of the chain because if I pull the chain down, See, if I make the chain tight shorter, shorten the chain, it will pull that away. And then you can see that that will pull that away from the uh, 1132 and then it will spin backwards. I don't know if I can do that with one hand here at the moment. So there you go, if the chain was shorter, That's what would happen. So if you've got that problem, now you know how to fix it. Shorten your chain. Okay, so now I've took out that master link that I had in there, and let's see what it does. If we pedal forwards, pretty damn good. But what about pedaling backwards? Okay, so now it will pedal backwards, even though there's still a slight. You can hear it ticking there. You're not going to be, uh, you know, not going to be pedaling backwards much. All you're going to ever be doing is on a hill go like that and go. You know, so that's close enough is good enough. Let's show that again, pedaling forwards. as good as it gets. Oh yeah, and how I size the chain without putting the links in. Good old matchstick. Popped it through and then just snapped it off. 